Welcome to the PowerShape Modeling for Manufacture demonstration. This is the boot frame demonstration showing modeling for manufacture that is assessing and preparing a part so that it is suitable for the chosen manufacturing process. The part we're looking at is a pressed steel part that makes part of a boot frame for the automotive industry. When modeling for manufacture, some of the factors we need to take into consideration include part alignment, identifying minimum radio, filling of open areas, and identifying badly trimmed or overlapping surfaces. This list is not exhaustive, however, it highlights some of the key factors that will be shown within the demonstration. We shall just take a slightly more detailed look at some of these areas now. First of all, we'll be looking at part alignment. We'll be using PowerShape's undercut shading to identify areas with a negative draft angle. We'll then be creating and editing work planes to remove or minimize the undercuts and correctly align the part. We'll be using PowerShape's minimum radii shading to identify areas where the radii fall below a minimum tolerance. It's important to identify the minimum radii, as we can see animation here. What can happen during pressing if the corners are below a minimum tolerance? You can see, highlighted in red, that high levels of stress or strain have been placed on this area of the pressing. To rectify this, we can either increase the size of the fillet in the corners, or create a relief in the corner, as is shown here, and we can see that this is removed the highlighted or red areas. Next we can look at trimming and the filling of open areas. We'll be using PowerShape's unique automatic surfacing wizard to generate surfaces from wireframe. That is, selecting wireframe, then open up the surfacing wizard to automatically generate the most appropriate type of surface for that area. We'll be showing the benefits of the water type wizard to identify problematic areas. We can take a surface model, convert it to a solid. Whilst doing so, we can run it through the water type wizard, which will check that all surface edges match to within a specified tolerance. Any areas outside of this tolerance can either be automatically fixed from within inside the wizard, or we can use the wizard to highlight these areas and come back and manually fix them later. One of the methods of fixing is using our trim region editing to repair badly trimmed surfaces. Trim region editing contains some power shape specific terms, so it's worth taking a minute to just look into this a little further. Trim region editing contains two areas, the creation of P-curves and the creation of trimming boundaries. A P-curve can be created on a surface points that influence the creation of the curve are called p-points and then p-curves can be used to guide trimming boundaries. In this example here we can see we have a surface with a number of p-curves highlighted in red. Following the p-curves we can sketch a trimming boundary that is using the p-curves we can guide the boundary across the surface. You can see the result of this trim region editing. The boundary that has been created from the P-curves has trimmed back any unwanted areas of the surface. So to achieve this completed model that is suitable for manufacture, some of the key features we'll be showing include undercut shading and surface inspection. We'll show how to quickly and easily generate and edit work planes. Show surface creation techniques. We'll show the highlighting of minimum radii. We'll also demonstrate our water type wizard with appropriate surface fixing techniques and our automatic surfacing wizard.